His mom was Hungarian, his dad was a bit of a prick really and lied to his missus about pretty much everything. So what we do know for a fact is that he was either Romanian, Hungarian, Serbian, Wallachian or Bulgarian. This caused our guy to have all these different names. But his daddy's lady skills are not what made John Hanyari this amazing. Little is known about Hanyari's younger days, but we do know that he wasn't of a noble family. He created his own crest and bought his own armor, which made the king of Hungary have no reason to believe that Hanyari is in fact not a knight. His first noticeable battle was between the Hungarians and the Turks. Hungary needed a special kind of crazy to win. They needed someone to go Hanyari crazy. So John went Hanyari crazy and pretty much single-handedly pushed the Turks back. Hanyadi was regarded as one of the best warriors in the country and with the fall of Serbia and the approaching Turks, Hanyadi was given the titles of Ban of Severin, Voivod of Transylvania, Count of Temesh, Captain of Belgrade and Mother of Dragons. Hanyadi was raiding Turkish lands and winning fights with little importance but it gave him a celebrity status and it really pissed off the Turks. They invaded Transylvania with 70,000 soldiers and were defeated by Hanyadi's 15,000 strong army. The Hungarian king decided to launch a conquering campaign with Hanyadi at helm. After a year of what was known as the Long Campaign, John went Hanyari crazy. He reached the far south getting rid of Turkish influence in Bosnia, Serbia, Bulgaria, Albania and Herzegovina. So he did alright I guess. The Turks offered a 10 year truce which was accepted and everything was going well for Hanyari. He must have thought how lucky he was that the Pope decided to stay away and here comes the Pope with a crusade. Hanyari was vocal against the decision but the Pope got bored waiting for the new half-life to come out so he just went with the original plan. As you can guess the crusade was a disaster, Turks beat the crusaders in the battle of Varna and killed the Hungarian king with Hanyari narrowly escaping. After the crusade, Hanyari was governor of Hungary and regent to the juvenile king. He tried attacking the Turks again but he was defeated and his influence in the country waned. The Turks didn't really take the break of the truce lightly so they launched a siege of Belgrade. 100,000 Turks arrived to a fortified city with just 6,000 mercenaries. John went Hanyari crazy for the last time. He left the city and went to the nearby countryside to recruit villagers. Around 30,000 untrained peasants with pitchforks agreed to come with him. Hanyari, knowing that they weren't militarily knowledgeable, gave them a strategy. Instead of losing, how about we just win? The peasants thought that would be cool and Hanyari miraculously defeated the Turks. The Turks went, man, screw this and didn't attack Hungary for the next 70 years. Following Hanyari's great victory, the Pope ordered all Christian churches throughout Europe to ring their bell every day at noon as to celebrate the victory in Belgrade. A custom that still exists to this day. John Hanyari died some 20 days after the siege, most probably from an epidemic that broke out in the troops. If Hanyari hadn't stopped the Turks, who knows how the world would look like today. He changed the course of history on his own. You should go Hanyari crazy over that like button. I think he deserves it. Be sure to like and share the video if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe. See you next week.